July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. In recognition of World Hepatitis Day, Pikeville Medical Center hosted a community health fair today at the Mark II at the Landmark Inn Complex in Pikeville. The event was free and open to the public. PMC staff not only screened for hepatitis and HIV, but also several other health issues. The purpose of this event is to raise community awareness. Dr. Foddy, all across our infectious disease physician at Pikeville Medical Center, has taken this on as his mission to not only be a physician here at the hospital, but to educate the community to make us healthier. Dr. Foddy, all across, says he has seen a rise of hepatitis in the region and it's important for people to know whether they are infected. We're facing, as I mentioned before, like problem with drug issues, and unfortunately, hepatitis is mainly transmitted by, by drugs. But it's a bloodborne infection from mainly drugs, from blood transfusion, from uh, using dirty tools like toothbrushes, razors, clippers, something like that. So if people are not aware of their hepatitis, it can go without being noted for many years. He adds, though, there are many misconceptions about hepatitis. It is actually one of the most easily transmitted diseases, even among people with good hygiene. If you test positive for hepatitis C, it doesn't mean that you have active hepatitis C infection. Okay, we need to have a further testing to clarify that. In general, 80-85% of these patients will end having hepatitis C. 15-25% to 25 it can be negative, and we call it old infection, which means the body being exposed to it, but the body was able to self-clear it. This is the second year Pikeville Medical Center has hosted the event. Organizers were pleased with today's turnout and hope it continues to grow in the future. Reporting in Pikeville, I'm Shelby Steele for EKB News.